This is the video solution for the temperature conversion challenge. Now the idea here was to design a HTML form to accept the temperature and whether it was degrees centigrade or Fahrenheit. So we need an input form and we also need a processing script. So what I'll do over here is I'll right click on my HTML form template and I'll clone that. And let's call this temperature form. HTML. And there it is. And we'll open that. So there is my basic HTML template. And in here, I need to create a form. So I'll start with my form tags. I'll need an input field of type. And now I can use a, a number here. So let's put a type of number. And the name of this one, let's call it temperature. I need another input. And this time the type will be radio. So I'm going to have radio buttons, one for centigrade and one for Fahrenheit. So name for this one, let's call it units. So units of temperature. Now I need to duplicate this. So if I hold down my shift command and D on the Mac, so it's probably shift control D on a PC. So I've duplicated that line there. Now in here, the value we'll have as C for centigrade. And in here, we'll have a value equal to F for Fahrenheit. And we'll just put a little label on here, C and F. Now, as I said previously, we're not formatting these. I would normally put some proper labels on here, some CSS. I would style it all properly. This is just a quick and dirty form because what we're interested in is the actual PHP side of things. I also need a submit button, so I need another input. And the type here will be submit. And we'll have a name again of submit as we did in the last one. In fact, let's change it. Let's put in, no, leave it as submit. And sorry, the actual value we'll put as convert. The next thing we need to do is we need an action up here. And this is the name of the script we're sending it to. So where's the URL? So it will be temperature form processor. Let's call it that so we know what it is, .php. And the method, method is post. Okay, that all looks fairly straightforward. Let's put a little title in here of temperature conversion. And we'll save that. And now what I need to do is create a script to do this processing. And it's going to be called temperature form processor. Let me copy that. Create a new file and paste that in and create. So that's created my processor form. So let me open that and let's begin processing. So the first thing is I need my PHP code block. I then need an if statement. So we're going to test if that submit button has been pressed. So if something is true, we're going to do something. So if is set RAM brackets, go inside the RAM brackets, post, and then in square brackets, tick marks and submit. So if that is true, then in here we'll have a variable called temperature, which I want to be equal to the posted temperature. So again, this temperature here is referring to this temperature here. So this input, I'm taking that input and I'm assigning it to my own variable of temperature. And then I can use that throughout my script. 
Next one I need is the uh, units. So units that will equal post and units. I think I called them units. Yes, I did. So it's a good idea to check. Semicolon. So I've assigned my um, variables. The next thing to do is to actually check what units were actually submitted. Was it degrees C or was it degrees F? So if something is true, do something. So if units is equal to C, then degree C has been selected and I'll need the formula for converting degree C to degrees F. So let's say result equals. Now to convert from degree C to degree, degrees F, I need to take the temperature I need to multiply it by nine, then divide by five, and then add 32. So that'll give me the result if it's C. Else, if it's not C, it must be F. So in here, in this case, my result will be as follows. In brackets, I need to take my temperature I need to subtract 32, need to times by five and divide by nine. Okay, so now that all sorts all been done, in here I need to echo out the result. So echo, and let's say something like the converted temperature is And let's have in here result. Okay, so that should all work. Let me save that. We've got our temperature form. Everything looks okay. We've got our processor. Everything looks okay. Let's do a refresh on here. And we'll find the temperature form. There it is. So let's say 32 degrees C. And we'll convert that. And the converted temperature is 89.6 which is correct. Let's try another one. Let's go back, try 100 degrees Fahrenheit, convert. And again, that is correct. Now for the extension activity, I did leave you to say whether you wanted to run this off to a degree of accuracy. And I'll leave you to have a go at that yourself.